Today we are going to talk about what faith really is. What faith really is. Because this area of faith is where many children of God are confused. And that is the reason why many people experience unanswered prayers. The area that is very, very important after salvation is faith. Salvation is the highest thing in the kingdom, but after salvation, faith is the second. Any child of God that don't know what faith is all about, that don't know how to operate in faith, that don't know how to walk in faith, will be frustrated in the hand of the devil. You discover there are many children of God today. They say, oh, I am a child of God. I am obeying God, but things are not moving. Satan is frustrating them because they don't know how faith works. What is faith? The Bible said in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Faith is the substance of things go for, the evidence of things not seen. And the Bible says in verse 6 that without faith, it is impossible to please God. I want to break it down so that you will understand what faith really is. Faith simply means doing according to the word of God. That is faith. Doing according to the word of God. That is to say, God said this. You know what God said. Your act according to what God said. That is faith. Acting on what God said is faith. Acting on what God said is faith. And there is nobody that acts on God's word. Nobody who acted on what God said that will never see the result. You must see the result. Because the word of God said that he is watching over his word to perform it. The word of God, God hide himself in his word. Looking for someone that will do according to the saying of the word. Looking for somebody that will obey the word of God and the faith will be activated. That is faith. So faith is not that so big thing that you cannot understand. That is why without knowing the word of God, there is no how you can have faith. I tell you, in the scripture, all the people in the Bible and the, all the people in our present days that, that, that have mighty result in their, in their fellowship with God, in their relationship with God, all of them know scripture. Scripture is the bedrock of faith. That is why anyone that don't know Bible can never have faith. He can confess it. He can claim it. He can do this. I claim it. I claim it. You cannot claim anything. You claim based on the scripture, based on what God said in that area. You believe it. Then you do according to the word. Then you have the result. So I advise you to go for God's word. Find a place where you will learn the word of God. Find that place. I want to tell everyone here, hearing the word of God now, find the place where you will hear the word of God and understand how faith works. If a madman carry God's word and preach it, you hear it from the mouth of the madman and after hearing it, you go ahead and practice what the word said, you will get the result. I want to use this analysis. Don't misquote me and don't misunderstand me. If a prostitute, after sleeping with her lover, just rise off from the bed, carry a Bible and begin to preach the word of God, you know that she's just come out of iniquity and preaching the word of God in that condition. And uh, maybe she, she is preaching a place where the Bible says, by my stripe you are healed. And there is someone there who was sick hearing the word of God from that prostitute and the person believed the word of God the prostitute preached and they act according to what the word of God the prostitute preached said he or she will, will get healing from God because it is not he that preached the word matters it is the word the person preached that is why there is nothing like a great man of God, the powerful man of God. No, no. What is a man of God, a woman of God that have understanding of scripture, that presents scripture to people, and people hearing the gospel, they understand it, they believe it, they act on it, they see the result. Hear me? Any man that knows scripture will get results from God. 
So now somebody must wake up in the morning, want to go to business. He say, oh, I claim favor today. I claim breakthrough today. I claim signs and wonder. I claim miracle. As I'm going out today, I am favored. As I'm going out today, I am blessed. As I'm going out today, oh, I am lifted. He claimed those things in Jesus' name. I want to tell you that that person may be disappointed because all he's claiming, he don't know any word of God that backed up what he's saying. He don't know the word of God that backed up all his claims. He don't know anything scripture said in that area. Our confession, I know that confession is demonstration of our faith in another side. He said demonstration is the art of demonstrating faith. But is the art of demonstrating faith is not faith in himself. Confession is not faith in itself. It's the act of demonstration of the faith. Act of demonstration. So, confession is not faith. Because faith is the word of God based on what God said. That is faith. So, when I believe what God said, when I know what scripture said, and I believe what the Bible said, then I stand on what God said and I confess it. That is the demonstration of my faith. But confession is not faith in itself. So, if that person knows what God said, he is saying it based on the foundation of what God said, he will get the results. Hallelujah. He will get the results. You that are hearing me right now, you that is watching me right now, if you can know what God said and know how to apply what God said and know how to put to work everything God said, I tell you, you will discover that you have faith. You have faith. Sometimes people say, oh, I don't have faith. No, you have faith. The problem is that you don't know how to operate on faith you don't know how to operate by faith you don't know how to make faith to work you are misapplying faith you are misapplying it you are ignorantly misapplying it and that is why it's not working anytime you understand it it works remember that faith is not too mystery it's not a mystery that you cannot understand faith simply means acting according to what god said acting according to what god says that is faith that is faith that is faith so now as you are hearing this word please do me a favor if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please try to do so and if you have not subscribed if you have not follow me on my facebook page please help me follow me on that facebook page the same name antony ministry tv and make sure you share this message, forward this message to many people so that they will know more of God and will join hands together to save lives. God bless you. Until next of my broadcast. See you next time.